Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm back with the second episode of my series of tutorials of Premiere Pro. Last episode, we went through all the basic interface stuffs, sequences, and um, all that just general kind of stuff. Today, I'll just be expanding a bit more on that. And yeah, if you got any questions, because I know I'm not the best at this kind of stuff. Um, or if I'm not too clear, because I'm not very great at tutorials. Put a comment down below and hopefully I can help you out. So, we're going to go and look at the settings. So, if you come over here to Premiere Pro and Preferences, General, you got all of these different settings which I haven't really played much with. Um, oh, that's actually cool. Um, yeah, I still actually need to go through this stuff myself, but um, yeah, this is just a few settings, just general, so you can work your way through and see what you want to change and whatever helps you. But right now, this quick little thing, can change the appearance of your workspace. I kind of like it dark. Okay, so we'll leave it there. Um, also, you got Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts. The cool thing about this is that if you're coming from Avid or Final Cut Pro, Adobe has kept those shortcuts so that you can get into Premiere Pro quicker, so you don't have to learn all those new shortcuts. But um, yeah, you can just find, go through and find the stuff you need, or you can just align, like assign shortcuts for stuff. So say I want to make a shortcut for exporting. exporting media all right let's go export title you click edit and go uh, no command shift T and that will save that for you but because that command shift T was already assigned to something else it will give you this little pop-up that says and it's been already being used for tab stops and that will no longer have a keyboard shortcut so I'm going to undo that because I don't want to mark up anything so that's good so that you don't overwrite basic stuff so um, yep that's quickly that so shortcuts and preferences what else is there um, okay let's go through a bit of basic editing Actually, no, I don't know what to go through. Um, okay, I'm just going to start editing, I guess, a video. So what I like to do... I generally just fang that whole thing in. I'll just drag and drop. And... I find a place where I can just. I guess this episode will be sinking. I find where the first hit is, or the first visible hit, like kick or a snare hit or something that I can sync with the audio. So, right there, use the arrow keys left and right to move a keyframe forward and back. So, right there is the first hit. So if you want to zoom in, you scroll this little mountain thing up. Now you, you can either press C and like make cuts with your mouse or C or you can come over here and click tool on, on the razor tool. But we won't be using that. Just use the selection tool and you can use a keyboard shortcut for command K. So 
to make a cut for you. And that way you're, wherever your little scrolly thing is, whatever it's called, it'll make a cut for you there. So I do that so I have an idea where that cut is so I can align it easier. The next thing I'm going to bring in is my audio track. I will mute this track and roughly find where that that hi-hat hit matches with the song which is about there so I can put a marker by coming up here or pressing the star and that will put you give you a marker here um, so what I'll do, I'll just quickly delete, oh, also, if you want to just select, because because this audio and video is linked, when you select one, it's going to select both. So if you just want to select the audio, say if you just want to delete, if you want to delete the audio, just hold Alt and click, and then you can delete just that. But since we won't be using either one, we'll move this video back to where we put the marker, which is the start of the song. That should be pretty in sync. It's not perfect because I don't have any like clap or anything that I used, which is very stupid. But um, this should be fairly close. What I like to do to see if the audio is matched, I turn on both audio layers because audio two is a bit louder. I'll bring it down. And I'll just hear if one of them is lagging. You could even, um, okay, that's perfect. So um, yeah, you can change the balance so you can hear each track in your ear to make sure it's synced. I can't hear any lag in that one, so it seems pretty in sync. Then we can just stretch out this video to the start. So now that that's in sync, we can alt click on the audio and delete it because we don't need it. And we have that first bit in sync. So we're going to drag that up. Now, what are we going to do? We'll add the other videos now. We'll do the overhead. Change back the in and out points that I've put. doesn't look to uh, like I start about until there. No, that's just um do what we said before about inserting and overlaying so we'll go overwrite and that will layer it on it's not going to be perfect in time but Gives us a rough idea. Now you can see a peak in the audio, which is where I would most likely be hitting that high height. So if you want to zoom in a bit, it gives you a rough idea of where I'm doing it. So that's probably still from there. And again, we're going to click Control K, delete. And we're going to drag this back to the marker. Also, because it's a bit stretched, because this is a 1080p, whereas the sequence is uh, 720. Make that special formula, zoom out, and then just make 
sure fit, which is good. That's good. So we want to mute the track, maybe. Oh, actually, that's not doing it. Oh, yeah, you want to mute it and. So that's pretty in sync. Now the last thing you could do, all right, is match the two videos perfectly. So what I like to do is go with my right and left arrows, go left and right to find that same hit, which is there. You can see the hi hat is touching the, the stick is hot, touching the hi-hat, so it's that keyframe there, so you want to mute that and see if, if on the other video it's the same place, but it's not. So if you want to move the whole, that video forward one keyframe, you go alt and left arrow and it will move that whole video, your video one frame, so left. Now. It should be, see how it's both touching the hi-hat on both of them? So that should be pretty in sync. So we can drag that back now that we're done. And top view. So that's cool. So now that we got all of the syncing done, um, we can come and just bring back all these videos so that they're in line. Also, alt click on this bottom audio track because we don't need it and delete it. Um, so, that's it for syncing, and I'll be back very soon with the rest of the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and watch the next video if this is any what um, relevant to your editing needs. Thank you.